everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today is just going to be a very quick review about the new on the go bb and uh, i'm not sure if a lot of you are aware that oops that okay let me just fix my mic okay i don't know if you guys are aware that there is the on the go bb that has been launched in the store on the 28th of um march oh 29 i'm sorry so uh, i just want to show you the physical size and what fits inside uh it's just going to be a quick review because as you know on the go is not a very new bag it comes with the mm and the first launch and then it comes with a pm and now it comes with a bb of course popular bags should come with a very small size but i must tell you guys that this is not uh like a, a ridiculous a ridiculous size i mean uh there are like pico bags just like the side trunk that nothing can really fit inside but at least this one you can still fit uh, some essentials that you can uh, carry on with you while partying or anything else. So if you are interested in this bag, please uh, just watch until the end. Okay, so on the go uh, BB, uh, it now only comes with a leather, leather material. It comes with a gray with the white uh, bicolor uh, ompron leather and the full black. It is a very small. This is how it looks like when I carry it uh, on my hand. I did not carry it on like as, as a shoulder carry anymore. I didn't have time that day, but this is really fairly, fairly small. But um, you can still fit your essentials inside. Um, it comes with a strap, adjustable strap, so it's good. At least uh, you can uh, adjust it to whatever uh, length that you want, uh, whatever height that you are in. And... Um, this is how what fits inside this is how the multiple wallet fits in and um this is my iphone pro or did i borrow someone else's phone oh no this is my colleague's iphone pro max so it wouldn't actually fit inside it try to arrange it in um in a horizontal way but i couldn't because of the fold on the other side so i tried to squeeze it in but if you're going to put it horizontally, you will have to put it slanted. And it's not very, very practical. It might lose the shape of the bag as well. So um, if you want to put your phone, yes, it can fit, but it will be sticking out a little bit. The price of uh, the bags, uh, the bicolor is 4250 and the small is 4000 50 4050 it's in singapore dollars so please do not confuse that with a usd i am in singapore so every price that i'm saying in this channel is in singapore dollars and that is the price currently as i'm recording this video it might change over time you might watch this video after two years and the price is already different but as of now march 2024 it is this price so the price is I think it's okay because the PM is already around 4,800 4, the bi color and 4,600 for the uh, plain color. So it's almost about 500 different uh, for the plain color and the bi color. About how much is the bi color again? 4,250 over 4,8. Yeah, so my math is very bad. 550? Yeah, 550 different. So yeah, over over that amount i think it is okay uh my mic is out again i'm sorry if there has been changes with the uh, it's not a good idea to put in the jacket let me put it in my okay so over overall i think it is okay it is a um, four thousand something it's very normal for a new bag and uh on the go bag is actually one of the bags that that is very structured it will never go out of shape over time the leather use is very very durable it's scratch resistant so if you are looking for a bag that you will use for a long time and if you are a small bag lover i think this is a bag that you might be waiting for my honest opinion i don't have much opinion about it to be honest because on the go bag is not new to my eye i would still suggest the pm because i feel like it's more practical but I also understand that there are girls that really loves a very, very small bag. I knew one colleague of mine that she doesn't mind uh, carrying her phone with her as long as the wallet just fits in and that's it. And she don't need anything else in this world but the small bag. So I do understand for people who love small bag, please give it a try because it's really cute. And uh, I think this is something that would last 
for a long time the trend like a small square bag and it's a classic uh, I don't think you have to worry about it getting out of trend so yeah nothing new uh, nothing exciting for me but because uh, please just take my opinion with a pinch of salt because I'm working with Louis Vuitton for almost seven years so I've seen this but if you are not updated and sometimes come to the store every six months this might be something exciting for you so please please head on to the stores and try it yourself and uh, I believe that some bag could be suitable for other people some bag could be suitable for the other depends on your style so just uh, yeah just listen to yourself and know your style I'm sure um, every bag can elevate your total outfit for the day. All right, that's all I can say. Thank you so much for watching. I know this is just a short video, but uh, there's really nothing more I can discuss about it. I just really want to share uh, more about this bag and uh, yeah, be for you guys to be updated. All right, I'll see you. Uh, I don't know when because I'm going to Korea soon. So yeah, I'll see you on my next video.